The saying beauty is only skin deep is taking on a new meaning. The art of tattooing has been around for thousands of years and has now found its way into popular culture. I just really like tattoos, I think they look good. I just guess everybody else was so I like the look of them and I like doing something different. We decided that we wanted to get something that was kind of about the two of us. Yeah. The success of tattoo reality TV shows and the exposure of tattooed celebrities has helped take away any negative stigma and designs are becoming bigger and bolder. I think these days people, because they're considering the designs more, they're not just getting the little little tiny sticker in the middle of their arm or anything, they're, they're planning it out and they're wanting a full sleeve or a half a, a sleeve, something large to begin with, even for the first tattoos. With some taking it to the extreme. Meet Lucky. Since getting his first tattoo at 16, he's spent 1,500 hours in the chair and now holds the Guinness World Record as the most tattooed man. And he keeps coming back for more. One is I love tattoo. Uh, two, um, I love the connection between me and the artist and what magic comes out of um, being creative together. The needle injects ink deep into the dermis layer of the skin, a painful and permanent process. But just how permanent is it? Laser technology can be used to fade or remove ink, and despite it being just as painful as getting the tattoo, it's an option more and more people are considering. Basically, um, the tattoo is absorbed by the energy of the laser and um, it breaks the tattoo into tiny particles and the body gets rid of it through the lymphatic system. While patients may need up to 15 treatments, it's an option many are willing to invest in, with business booming in the past six months. As little as a week um, post having their tattoo applied, they may want it off. Um, a lot of people, we're getting more and more cover-ups, so people get something on and um, want it faded so they can get something new over the top. It's Matt Thornton's seventh treatment and now there is only a faint trace of the dragon tattoo he had done when he was 18. I just didn't like it anymore, just you know, as I aged and uh, just had a little daughter and all that sort of stuff, so yeah, just wanted to get rid of it. His advice? Think about how your tattoo will look during different stages of your life. We're getting more and more people coming in, um, trying to get into the military and quite a few flight attendants actually. Um, they're not allowed to have visible tattoos on their wrists. But how young is too young? I don't think a 16 year old can decide on a tattoo that's uh, going to last forever, you know. Um, and uh, you know, we're having a problem where these 16 year olds are buying machines off the internet. Brad Barco says this dark side of the industry is growing, with tattoo kits for sale online for as little as $40. And despite the health risks, he's seeing an influx of people wanting their DIY tattoos repaired. They're just watching TV and going, we'll set it up like that in our lounge room and have a go. That's very, very uh, concerning. And some advice for those who are still undecided about tattoos. But people always say that you're going to look bad when you're old, but you don't look too great anyway, whether you've got tattoos or not, so it doesn't worry me too much. Diana Bushby, NBN News.